Hey guys, so today we're gonna to be trying some new products from a brand that doesn't get much love on YouTube. It is Merrill Norman. We have the Knockout Nudes palette. We have two of their cheek crayons, which are also a new launch. These are both new launch items. And we have a launch from earlier this year, which is the Sweet Cheek Sweet Delight Trio. Um, so if you guys are curious to see how these apply, some swatches and what I think, then just keep watching. And on the eyes today, I decided to put a little bit of the Skin Iceland Sweet S Solutions for Stressed Skin Hydro Cool Forming Eye Gels, which I got in an Ultra Favorites bag and just haven't had a chance to try them. So here they are. I've already primed my eyes with a little MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Now let's jump into some swatches. So here are five swatches from the palette. We have the lightest shade. We have one of their light shimmers, one of their mattes, another deep shimmer, and the deepest shade in the palette, which is this one right here which is a deep brown. So we're gonna start off with this Knockout Nudes palette. This is what the shades look like inside. There's some like rose gold shades, some tans, some neutrals, and like a kind of like white gold shade here. So we are going to dive right into this. We're gonna start off with the lightest shade all over the lid. Next, we're gonna jump into, we're gonna grab a blending brush from Sonia Kashuk. And I think that I want to go into this kind of mauve shade in the crease. Okay, so that applied really well, pretty pigmented, easy enough to blend. Next, I'm going to go into this kind of mauve brown here and focus that on the outer corner. Okay, and then I think I want to go into this kind of icy pink shade and this rosy gold shade on the lid. And it is time for these to come off. It has been 10 minutes. I'm gonna grab a flat brush and go into the deeper mauve tone first. And then I'm going to use a little MAC Fix Plus and go in with the lighter shade on the inner corner. And then I'm going to finish up my face and I'll be back to finish up the lower lash line and the rest of the face with the Merrill Norman products we have. Be right back. Uh, okay, so I went ahead and applied a little bit of the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup as well as the Ulta Beauty Full Coverage Liquid Concealers. I've been really loving these together lately. So now it's time to dive in to the Cheek Crayons from Merrill Norman. Boxes again look like this. They're standard packaging. I have the shade Pink Lotus and Mango. So let's see what these look like. Packaging's really pretty. It's like rose, gold, and black. Let's see, first off we have Pink Lotus. Oh, it's not as pink as I thought it would be. Pink Lotus is right here. It's kind of like a like a mauve shade blush. I was expecting like pink. And this one is mango, which is more of like a peachy tone. And I'm going more mauve shade, so I think I will go with the pink lotus today. How I like to apply this is generally I like to put my sponge in the product and then dab it where I want it on the face. Okay, so this is the side with the blush, this is the side without. I haven't powdered yet and everything generally tones down a bit, so I go a little heavy when I do the cream blush because I know I'm powdering over it. I 
that's pretty. I like that. Didn't move my foundation underneath, which I always appreciate. So let me hop off, powder the face, and I'll be right back. Okay, so the face is powdered. I have the Bye Bye Pores pressed powder on the face. You can still see a little bit of the blush through the powder, but it's kind of faded a bit. So now we can kind of dive into this one. This is the Cheek, the Sweet Delights Cheek Trio. We have strawberry shortcake, honey bun, and sugar on top. And I'm guessing that it is strawberry shortcake honey bun and sugar on top. So let me do swatches of these three. Here is blush one, blush two, and kind of like the shimmery shade. I think I'm going to go with a combination of all three to kind of go with the eye look today. Call me crazy, but that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna grab my Sonia Kashuk blush brush. I'm gonna dip into the pinkish shade ever so slightly and focus that towards the back right here. Ooh, very pigmented. You don't need much. And I haven't added bronzer yet, so it will kind of fade with bronzer. Next, I'm gonna go into the middle shade, focus that towards the apples on my cheeks. Hi, so I'm nice and pink. <coughs> Next, I'm gonna go into the blushy shade and do that as like a highlight. Okay, I'm very pink here. I may have to tone this down with some powder. Okay, so there is the glow on top of the blush. It's definitely too much blush. So let me add a little bit of bronzer real quick and I'll be back. Okay, so I went ahead and added a little bit of the L'Oreal Lumi bronzer and I kind of buffed my face with the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination in the shade Light to kind of tone everything down a bit. So let's dive in and finish off the eyes. I did put a little bit of Joa Brow Gel on my eyebrows, but that is it. So let's dive back into this very pretty gold and black shadow palette. And I think I'm actually going to grab their brush for the lower lash line. I'm going to go back into, I would say, this mid-tone brown on the lower lash line. Actually, no, I'm gonna go into the mauve shade and then the brown on the lower lash line. and then the brown. Now if you wanted to, you could kind of deepen it with the deepest brown. Um, I think I like the depth of color that I have right now. I might just smudge a little bit along the lash line, so I'm gonna grab a flat brush and go into that dark brown and just smudge it along the lash line. Okay, so I've smudged a little bit along the lower lash line and the upper lash line, so now all I need is mascara, and then we'll be done. Okay guys, so here is the finished eye look using the Meryl Norman Knockout Nudes Palette, the cheek palette, and the cheek crayons. So, my first impressions of these products. I really like the way that this eye look turned out. I like the kind of soft, subtle, romantic shades in here. I will insert a close up of all the swatches right here for you to see. But I like the way it turned out. I feel like this is a very romantic palette. You don't have a matte black. You don't have like an intense dark brown. That's I feel like the only thing that's missing. Otherwise, you can get some really pretty neutral wearable everyday looks from this palette. So I would recommend this palette. The cheek palette, while I do like their blushes, they're a little too pigmented for my taste. And this one is too dark to be a highlight for me. So it would have to be like a blush topper, but I don't do sparkly blushes too often. So for me, this one is not something that I would be reaching for very often simply because it is so pigmented and these are very intense shades for my skin tone. If you have a deeper skin tone, I could see this working really, really well for you. And the cheek crayons, I really like these. I have a whole collection 
back there I have some Charlotte Tilbury, some Wet n Wild, some Giorgio Armani. Um, what other brands do I have? I feel like I might have a Smashbox blush, like chubby blush thing, um, but I like these. I like to apply my cream products with the same sponge that I was using for my foundation and then powder, and if I have to add a layer of uh, powder product on top, I will do that. But I often don't need to because this is pigmented enough even under the powder. So I like these. I will definitely continue to use these, and I like both shades, the peachy one and more of a mauve shade. Really, really good tones for my skin tone. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. What's new from Meryl Norman try on video? If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.